welcome back to the channel. So, Matt's with us. He's finally seen the old girl. What do you think, Matt? Well, you, you really sprung this one on because, <laughs> you know what? Mark always says, uh, I'm, we're going to buy a new project. I have no idea what it's going to be. And then this happens. Yes. It's cool. It is cool. It is cool. So, you've hopefully seen the previous video. If you haven't already, please go check that out. I did a proper walk around good and the bad things about the way window van. In today's episode, as the title suggests, we're going to find out the bad and then things have developed since that video. So, yeah, we've, it's not, some of it's not very good, is it? It's fixable. Yeah. <laughs> but, as you probably saw from the beginning of this video, that's a little bit scary, that sound. So, we're going to kick off this video first off with checking out that. We've already had a bit of investigation. Um, I spent the rest of the week after this just going, <laughs> but I feel a bit better about it now. It's not ideal, but it's fixable. Yeah. So we're just going to get into this video. We're going to find out what that noise is and show you what that is. And we're going to pull the wheel off, find out why the brake was locking on. And then that is the main things. Oh, starting fault. Why it yeah. won't crank open. But obviously, we might not be able to cover that in this video because You'll see why. we need to wait for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go check it out. Yeah. So, should we start with that first, Matt? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Let's well, well get the bad bit over. Yeah. So down the side of here, this lovely, nice straight panel van. Um, engines open. And uh, <laughs> yeah. So this doesn't normally live in the engine bay. Well, not here anyway, does it, Matt? No. No. It's uh, <laughs> supposed to go on one of the sides of the. Yeah. Engine. So this is a rather nice EMPI, nice rocker cover, nice valve cover, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's off, it's in the place where it shouldn't be. These are also off. Um, <laughs> so, long story short, these go through there. That's what secure it in. That's a spacer, and we believe, as you can probably see, there's something stuck in there that shouldn't be, to space out from the, the valves, the rockers. If, yeah, um, from the rocker shaft itself. Because it's not a standard engine, as I've described in the previous video. That's all I can think of as why that's in there. I have to do a bit more research, but, we will go and show you what that noise was. Yeah, and if anyone, <laughs> you know, comment below, what do you think that's from? Yeah. So you didn't notice this piece. What's this? Let's get down into the sure business yeah. end and have a look because <laughs> <laughs> the plot thickens. So there's a there's a lava lot of oil that has come flying out the side of the bus. Up in here is obviously one of the heads. And uh, obviously that's everything stripped off. If I can reach in, or unless Matt can grab it, you can see, we'll find out what that noise is now. That's what you could hear tapping away. So that little cap off the top of the valve wasn't actually rattling around in there. Um, as we moved that, it, it was just- It, it fell was still, out. Yeah, as soon as I moved that just, rocker shaft, it fell out. So there's no swarf, there's no damage. There's no anything in here, and I think we've been quite lucky with this. So this just, just need resetting. Um, but if you take a proper look, all of these, that's snapped. We need to get that out. And that is the other spacer that you saw up in the engine bay. So we need to try and get that out. Um, and then I think what we're gonna do is these obviously retain the uh, actually rock, the rocker shaft in here so we can get this out, make sure everything's all good, and then go from there. But as you can see, that bolt snapping in there, which I don't know why, because it drove home absolutely fine, mm -hmm. is obviously dropped all the oil out the side of the, the gasket there, so it's basically doing nothing. And we might as well check the other side, if we got this side off, yep. we might as well check the other yep. side as well. Yeah, we're going to have to do some work, aren't we? So, yep. Right, let's get stuck into it. Ooh, stuck. So, the main point of call is we need to get this sorted, we need to get it up and running again. Um, one thing, a little bit of a background with it, is I have spoke to the guy that built the engine. Um, obviously, it's well out of warranty and things like that, but I just wanted to know myself um, what he thought it was. He straight away said, um, rocker valve knocking like that. So that's kind of where we went first. There doesn't seem to be any bending in the push rods. There doesn't seem to be any damage in the thing that's cross. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. So I think if we take the, the, the um, the rocker shaft off itself, we'll be able to see, we'll be able to pull the push rods out and see if there's anything damaged. So basically what we need to get hold of, we need to get hold of all these fixings again, um, and we need to get them out safely. That's the main problem. And then once we figure out we can make it go, then we need to make it stop, because that's the next yeah. problem. So on this side, as you probably remember, 
So let's just look at this side as a whole. Beautiful white painted steely wheels. That one's not so white. <laughs> <laughs> um, this brake was binding a little bit driving back and given the fact it's a drum brake and there's dust everywhere, it's not a good sign. It's got quite warm. Um, so we need to check that out, don't we? But... We need to strip it down and see what's happening. <laughs> so that's the point I've got out here. Obviously it's quite a low van. I was told by the previous owner it's quite fun getting wheels out, so it's going to be interesting. So we're going to get it jacked up. Um, we're going to pull this out and then we're going to investigate this because we need to wait for parts now. So yeah. we might as well do this bit. Yeah. First time I've ever worked on an air-cooled engine. Yeah, you, you and me both. I, I didn't think we'd be doing this anytime soon, but... Um... <laughs> Basically, I need to make a parts order. There we go. Matt's getting the phone call now from his mate that's quite good with air-cooled engines. Basically, the reason why we're going to do it this order is we're going to have to buy some parts oh, for here. We have to buy some bits and pieces. So if we can strip the wheel down as well, we can find out then. So let's get into it, guys. So while I've got your attention, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Loads of people really love this bus. And I'm so glad of it because she's going nowhere. I absolutely love it. That is, I'm not going to lie, I had to walk away. So basically, how that arose, a little bit of background story, is I hadn't driven it since we picked it up, four days. I'm getting it to turn the key. Just wanna hear that engine. Turn, obviously she's at home, switched her on, left her idling for about 10, 15 seconds, wandered in, grabbed my cup of tea, came out, whoa, what's that noise? Quickly walked around the back and I had to just quickly grab the video just so I thought, oh, I need to know what this noise is, but I don't wanna keep leave it running. So grab that and then shut it off. Um, loads of people say it could have been detrimental things, but it's not, unfortunately, hopefully. So. If you want to see more and see how this unfolds, remember to subscribe to the channel, like I mentioned. If you want to become a, a member of the channel, please hit that join button because it massively helps us out. We're also going to have to buy parts for this. Um, we're pretty sure we know what little bits and pieces we need to buy, and we're pretty sure this is not anything like bad for the vehicle. So follow along. But right now, like I say, let's get the brake looked at. Also, did you check out in the last video the bonnet apron things off? So she's not looking that great. Um, there's quite a few like little bubbles in the paint, um, I guess you could call it character. But what we're gonna to plan to do is, I'll probably most likely do it here, because obviously the workshop's quite full. We could fit her in the workshop, but this is gonna basically be like a, maybe a quick respray or rattle pan job of this front panel, go clean it all back, get it nice. Um, be a bit of a DIY job because the color's not staying, so I'm not gonna spend loads of time on prep and stuff like that. I just wanna sort all this out so it's a little bit better for us to use. So, I'm gonna stop chatting, let's get going. So yeah, I just handed Matt the uh, axle stand. Look at the paint that's on it. Who remembers that paint? Hell. Brunge yellow. <laughs> so yeah, we're just jacking the van up and uh, let's get it going. Let's just get on with this. Let's get on with it. Another stand for the other side. Properly load rated as well. Oh, he's out. He's out. So, a quick update. I uh, managed to find the old other caps. Yeah, so we've caps. got all four now then. I've got all four. Oh, yeah, oh. these are the scat, scat ones, the brand. It's okay. in history. Right. It's written on their scat. Oh, okay then. There you go. <laughs> so, the stud, if you're walking, isn't in the shaft anymore. Oh, right. I don't know if you can see that. Right yeah. There. Yeah, okay. There's that spacer we're talking about looking at as well. There's a little spacer. That's underneath. That goes underneath the rocker pillars yep and if you focus yourself up back in the head so here's the stud which just winds in which thankfully wasn't oh my god look at that so, it's coming out there you go there's our broken there's our broken stud needs to find one of them now on it. it'll probably come as a kit and it's the same as the other one and that just unscrews oh nice so we might be good there so we're just good to do with some torque values and stuff like that really yeah none of the push rods look Damage. No, no, they no. actually look like they look They're like steel, steel ones, ones, aren't they? Yeah. No. Yeah. They look pretty beefy. Yeah, they look really nice, then, don't oh, they? You just leave you in there. Yeah, these are safekeeping. Um, and the head, two head bolts themselves, they look a bit. I don't know. I mean, these look clean, but the yeah. outer ones look dirty, so I'm not sure 
Yeah, I've got to see the round things, yeah. things, But so I've never worked on one of these before. No. Comment below. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yeah. No, so, but that's quite good news. That means yeah. we were expecting to have to drill out of that hole that Matt's just pulled that stud out of. Yeah, I thought um, that was going to Yeah, where his finger is there. It's like, yeah. oh, God. So we can get the correct studs and things as yeah. a kit, maybe, then we're on I'll have a look through the history. Yeah. Um, thankfully, there's quite a lot of history with this van, so, because I know that these are, they're scat, you can just see there. We could really do with um, knowing the actual valve clearances yeah, as well. Yeah, if anyone knows um, them, that'd be great of what they actually should be. If not, we'll have to look at a manual, but I'm wondering if they're different maybe because of these. Yeah, and they're um, set up and uh, I don't know. So obviously we'll give always a good clean. We've got a little board down here. These are some sort of spacer that we need to not lose. Um, yeah. Good news, Matt. Good news. I think that's good news. Yeah. Don't mind us. We're just laying in a big puddle of oil. <laughs> Nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with that. Oh my god! Hey. Right, we need to order parts. Order parts! <laughs> Hi. That was fun, Hi. wasn't it, Matt? Getting Hi. that. <laughs> I was told by the previous owner getting the, the wheels out was fun. I don't know if you could tell by like the lack of light we've got now, how long that just took us to get pissing wheel off. Yeah. So, um, right now we can have a look at the brain. <laughs> you can't see what we're doing now. Get the torch out. Get the torch. Alright. Light. So yeah, that was fun. We got round it by getting some air out. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we've got the valve cover off this side. Um, this side's all good, nothing's loose, so. I think we'll just go over the uh, valve clearances. Yeah, I think we'll just anyway. we'll do them all, yeah. yeah. So right, see what this. See what this, hides beneath it. This puppy likes. So, so let's take these two out there. Yep, Drum and then, then the main screws. one, I think. You can tell it's been hot just by looking at the colour. Yeah. Cool. May need a new one. Got new brake lines. Copper lines though in the back. Yep. They're all new. Most likely the heat this thing got probably need a wheel cylinder. Quite possibly. Yeah, right. Possibly. Let's strip it. We'll do the best we can like with the light, guys. But yeah. You know, Simpsons Classics Life. <laughs> I've got a perfectly good workshop, but I can't get the blooming thing to it. <laughs> On the drive again. Yep. Like old times. Like old time, yeah, yeah. Right, so we just got these little, what are they, 11 millis? 10 millis, were they? Oh, it's going to be crusty. Oh, I'll take the rest of it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound like Oh, 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 there you go. oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to need some shoes where we're going. <laughs> Delamination. Wow, okay. Right, yeah. So add that to the shopping list. It's a. Uh, Sorry, drink by the door. Now, what has caused that to happen? <sighs> Woo! Has it that been. That quite nice. Has it been over adjusted? Something seized? I don't know. I don't know. Should we try the adjusters, see if let's we can get them to move? Let's find out. So, we we'll do a bit let's of investigation, find. guys. <laughs> that... Carry on. Oh. 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 Yeah, oh. Oh. That's... Look at that. The boot's gone that hot. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good at all. That's cut. So I think we'll strip all these down That's and um, do a bit more investigation. And they were doing in pairs, so we might as well do the other side. Might as well. <laughs> might as well. So, potentially new adjusters, new new cylinder, new shoes. The drum, even though it's been hot, I mean, there's no lip on there's it. There's no lip on that. But, um, I mean, people will say, you know, it's been that hot, you should replace it. To be fair, if the price of them's not crap, if the, I'll Yeah, if the price of them's not bad. So, um... There's a lot of residue in there. Yeah, and uh, we might need a wheel bearing as well because it's quite, it's a fair bit of playing it. And I mean, I know you can adjust these yeah. in the centre, but, but it's, we might whip that off and yeah. just check the bearing out as well. Yeah, so. Right, I think we've got a shopping list of stuff. Yeah. So we're not going to get this all fixed this episode, guys, but obviously I wanted to show you the bad bits. These are the bad bits. <laughs> we haven't got onto the bodywork yet. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we do buy these things.
Why do I do this? Oh no. <laughs> Right, stop. Let's stop. Have a cup of tea and order some stuff. Time for some food. Oh. Right, so we're all stripped down there. Um, everything in here, apart from the cylinder, obviously needs to go. It doesn't look too bad, does it, Matt? No. There he is. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a bit dark now. Um, the handbrake seems to move as it is, so that's not damaged, not snapped. Uh, originally, I thought it was, but I think it's the old accelerator cable. Oh, sorry, heater channel cable, isn't it? Yeah, there's a little cable. Yeah, there's a little cable inside there, and that's somewhere. literally what I thought. So. Um, we're going to do a bearing, I think, so we're going to order a bearing up as well. It just makes the most sense. I still can't get over kind of how bad all that is up there. Like how that, that shoe on, yeah. that, on that wheel cylinder is just literally set fire almost. Yeah. But what we're trying to kind of come to terms to thinking, looking at the shoes, if that holds them up, is the, it's been sat for a little while, this van. Um, handbrake's been released and it's just grabbed it and ripped the shoes clean off. Yeah. And that's what's been wearing away. And that's what keeps locking on so when the van gets parked up again. They're just not actually, they've just completely delaminated off there. And well, now, stop. now we have an issue. Yeah. So I've got a lot of money to spend. <laughs> <laughs> not that I've not already just spent quite a lot, but oh well, it is what it is, it's an old vehicle. I do love her. Right, let's wrap this up. Let's go and get some parts and have some food. And get something to eat, yeah, yeah. starving. Right, so what have we achieved in this video? Um, few swear words, definitely, I think Matt agrees with that. Uh, yeah, you can hear him down there. So, I need to buy some new studs for one of the heads. Um, probably end up having to buy a pair. The spacers and all that kind of stuff to put all the, cap, the valve covers back on. And I think we can then reset the rockers, reset the clearances, and we should be good. The other side's fine. Maybe one's just not been adjusted. Um, and it's just let one go. Or we got all them caps, nothing's rattled around in the engine, nothing's missing, all the push rods are good. I think we're happy with it. <laughs> yeah. um, the biggest thing which come out of this video really is number one, we've got to know we're a bit faster than I thought. Um, Matt's the first time he saw it and then we stripped it. So <laughs> it's one of them. It's been interesting. Yeah, so I've really wanted an aircore vehicle. So far, they're quite simple to work on. Them brakes come apart nicer than a mini in my eyes. They, yeah. more, they make more sense to me. Yeah. Um, so what we got to buy, we got to buy those studs like I mentioned for the head, um, brake shoes, cylinder, just as actually working quite fine, so I don't yeah. really need that. Um, but we will take it all out when we copper slip everything. Wheel bearing? Uh, wheel bearing potentially, yeah. I think we're going to have to order one of them. And a few other bits I knew the van needed anyway, like it needs a new fuel cap because it just doesn't seal very well, a little bits and pieces like that. So I'm going to go away and order. If anyone's got any good companies to use, I've got um, Wind of VW Heritage, Just Campers, um, Air, I think it's Cool Air. Um, quite a few different places that people suggested anyway, quite a few bits that are in history of the van. So I'm going to just go and price stuff up. But if you've got any suggestions and stuff like that, uh, please just comment away. But yeah, we're going to go have some food. So this is a diagnosis video, more money to spend. As ever. More content. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, we're going to crack on. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Going to get a wrong coat.